If you are trying to invest in Cleveland real estate, I am here to help you. If you have never heard about Holden Wise TV and you're trying to invest in real estate, I am shocked. Honestly, I'm shocked that you've never heard about Holden Wise TV before because we are the number one source for Cleveland real estate investing. And today I'm going to show you why. Today I'm going to go over the numbers in a completely transparent fashion for one of my clients who's looking at an out-of-state duplex in the Cleveland area. Let's go! This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. Subscribe! If you're trying to invest in Cleveland real estate. Now, today we're going to be working with a man who is trying to invest in Cleveland real estate. As a matter of fact, he's already invested in Cleveland real estate with moi. My guy, Charles. I, I, don't, know, I don't know why I feel like talking like a wrestling announcer today, but, you know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I get a little frisky. Get a little frisky when it comes to cash flow, baby. Now, Charles, uh, this duplex, this is a, it's a pretty nice duplex. You sent it to me. Uh, to get my take on it. I do like this one, but I will say I do believe the price is a little bit high. So uh, give me a moment here. We'll go to a quick break and I will get into the numbers and get into what I believe is the appropriate purchase price because I don't think it's the list price. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Let's pull up the deal ski. Now, this one, I think we need we need a discount, okay? And the market, the market's telling us the same, right? It's the Cleveland market, folks. You price a duplex correctly, pow! They are selling, right? I get, I, we sell, right? We sell, we work with you guys in two ways, right? We work with you one way, which is this way, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You work with me. You work with your boy, Jay Wise, one-on-one. -on -one. I break down deals on the market, off the market, whatever, based on you, your wants, your needs, your criteria, right? These videos are all about you. I do not work for the seller. I work for you, right? That's one way. Second way is the Investment Properties for Sale Show. That's ones where I am hired by the seller to sell you properties, or I am selling you my own properties. We give you guys the video tours, and you make bids. We email those out every single day. But here's the thing. Here's the question we get. People are always like, hey, let me get that list of properties. And we're like, there is no list. They're like, no, I want the list. We're like, there's no list. They're like, I want the list. We're like, there's no fucking list. No, give me the list. There's no fucking list, okay? Why? Why is there no list? Because if you price a Cleveland property correctly, they sell immediately, right? So uh, we have a mailing list. We email you guys every day. And when we get a property to sell, uh, we email it to you, right? We launch it on the Investment Properties for Sale show, and then we email it. Almost every single property that we send out sells the same day we email it out, okay? Sometimes they sell uh, even faster, right? I might upload the video to the uh, the YouTuber and Holton Weiss TV on a Tuesday night, and then we don't email it out to Wednesday morning, and it's already gone, right? So make sure you're subscribed to Holton Weiss TV. Make sure you're paying attention to those emails because there's no list. There's no fucking list, people. Soon as we send it out, somebody buys it, okay? These things move quick. So with that being said, this thing's been on the market for 206 days, folks. What does that tell you? It's wrong. The price ain't right. The price ain't right, Barker! No, the price is wrong. Because if it was right, this thing would have done sold a long time ago. Now, don't get me wrong. These other sellers out there, right, they don't have the exposure we have here on Holton Wise TV. So they're probably not selling them the same day like I am. But uh, they're going to be selling them fast. I would expect any duplex to sell in the Cleveland market if priced appropriately within at least 30 days, right? So these folks overpriced their listing. Now, it's in Lorraine. I like it. Nice area. Like everything about it. There's nothing wrong with the property other than I think it's just priced too high, right? You got a big old shed, big old garage. I mean, you know, it's looking nice, right? They got two tenants already in there. One tenant's paying six fifty. dollars One's paying five hundred. dollars Now, both of these rents are actually below market, okay? Market rent on this, we should actually be getting eight fifty dollars and seven seventy five, dollars right? That 3-1 should generate eight fifty, dollars folks. The 2-1 should generate seven seventy five. dollars It's actually, I mean, sorry, not a 2-1, the 2-2, rather. The 2-2 should generate seven seventy five. dollars So it should be generating sixteen twenty five dollars a month in rent. So 
if you buy this, will slowly want to increase those rents up to market. We don't want these tenants to move out. We don't even have photos of the inside. So I'm guessing it's not all that nice. Uh, we'll, of course, do more due diligence on this and make the deal contingent on inspection. But uh, if the tenants do move out, you're going to have to do a turn. That's just the way the crooked crumbles. So you want to keep people in there and slowly work them as close to market rent as you can. But if you run the numbers based on market rent, I believe the thing should kick off an NOI to you of almost ten grand, right? Nine thousand eight twenty-four on average. And as far as the price goes, again, it is not. Where is it? Let's pull it up. It is not one forty-four seven seven seven. I don't give a fuck if seven is lucky or not. It ain't lucky for these motherfuckers because they ain't selling it, right? It's too high. It doesn't make sense. The the most I would like to see you pay for this property is one twenty, right? So we got to get about a twenty five thousand dollar discount here. Now it's been on the market forever, so that could mean one to one of two things, right? It could mean that the sellers are just hard asses and they're like, nope, one forty four is the price. We ain't taking a penny less. Sometimes that happens. If that happens, you put out the offer. Hey man, there's the offer. If you ever change your mind, come back to us, and then we move on to the next one. It's a numbers game, right? Or the second thing happens, they've priced it too damn high, nobody pays attention, and nobody wants it. Now they're starting to think, oh, my God, my property's never going to sell, and they're not that bright to reduce the price like a normal human being would. And then when we kick them a low ball offer like this, uh, I've seen people take huge, huge uh, discounts off of their list price because they're starting to feel after 206 days that they'll never sell the house, right? So it's a coin flip uh, if somebody will take – 120 but i wouldn't want to see you pay any more than 120 if we can get it at 120 it's a hell of a deal if we can't get it at 120 i say we move on to the next one if we get it to 120 i would be projecting out an approximate cash on cash return of roughly 18 percent assuming we could eventually get those tenants up to market rent if we can't get those tenants up to market rent and they move out yeah your cash on cash return is going to go down slightly because you'll have to to pay a turnover but hey that's part of the business. That's part of being a real estate investor. Folks, you're always going to have turnover in this business. You're never going to get away from that. That's why, let's pull up the chart again. I've got repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment capital expenditures, right? These are things that can happen to you uh, during investing, right? So those 975 line items for each of those three things, like, don't think that you're just never going to have to pay those. That's why I make you assume that 975 for each of those three things almost three grand every year that's money that actually goes home to you that's your money but i don't let you believe it to be profit because it's not profit right because eventually you're going to get a turnover and that's where your 975 repairs and maintenance go right we don't like every single month bill you 81 dollars no it's a whole bunch of months at zero and then boom tenant moves out you're doing a five thousand dollar turnover or like your capex right whole bunch of months at zero and then boom $3,000 furnace every 30 years. Boom! $1,200 hot water tank every 15 years. Boom! $7,000 roof every 30 years. You get what I'm saying? You got to average that out, right? So you're getting an extra three Gs on top of what I told you your actual NOI is, but don't consider that profit because you're going to have to eventually pay the toll, right? Eventually, uh, you know, Murphy's Law is going to kick in and you're going to have to pay for that stuff, right? But conservatively, we're looking at around an 18% return for this one. So this is a nice deal if... We can get these folks to drop about 25k off that list price. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.